What's going on? Uh, welcome to Asian Cosell. If you guys can give me the HKO special, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. All right, so now we're going to talk about Trevor Bauer. Oh, wow. So Trevor Bauer reveals text bed video as he and the accusers settle losses. Okay, so former uh, MLB pitcher Trevor Bauer and Lindsey Hill settled their lawsuits Monday without any money getting exchanged between the two sides, according to the video. Bauer posted to X, formerly known as Twitter, and an interview Hill did with Washington Post. Now, Hill's insurance company paid her 300000 Attorney Brian Freeman told TMZ that Hill looks forward to helping others, and now that the litigation has ended. Hill told the Washington Post that her claims never evolve about money, which Bauer alleged in the defamation lawsuit and continue to allege in this video Tuesday. I can't stop Trevor Bauer ever, Hill told Outlet, but if I make him think twice before doing it again, it's actually worth it. His attorney, John Federoff, and Sean Holly said a statement uh, that Bauer wants to focus completely on baseball moving forward. Yes. So... Definitely moving forward. The four-minute video Trevor uh, revealed alleged misses an alleged video from the monitoring after one of his sexual encounters with Hill, which came to light September 22, depicts Hill laying in bed next to Bauer, smirk, appearing to smirk without any alleged injuries. Yeah, so one message that Bauer included in a video claiming that Hill tried to frame him for money, alleged that Hill... Text an unknown person his net worth fifty one million, which the person allegedly applied B I T C H. You better secure the bag. Bauer said in the video, uh, paints a pretty clear picture of what actually happened on the evening of May fifteenth. Now, over the last two years, I've been forced to defend my integrity and my reputation in a public setting. But hopefully, this is the last time I have to do so, as I prefer to just remain focused on doing my job, winning baseball games entertaining fans around the world. Bauer said to conclude his video. So today I'm happy to be moving on with my life. And the alleged first emerged in June 21st when Bauer was accused of sexual assault and Hill attempted to get a restraining order against Bauer following their two in-person sexual encounters. The allegation claims that Bauer had punched and choked her during her sexual encounter. All through Bauer confirmed publicly that he and Hill engaged in consensual rough sex he denied several hills. Pacific claims that stated not everything Hill claimed even occurred, including that he never punched Hill. Then in April 22nd, Bauer sued for defamation and filing lawsuits against Athletic, formerly Twitter. Molly Knight and Desmond Hill responded by, uh, you know, continuing to Bauer for sexual assault. So here we go. Let's uh, go on X and let's hear him out. Next victim, star pitcher for the Dodgers. A text Lindsay Hill sent to a friend before she ever even met me. What should I steal? She asked another in reference to visiting my house for the first time. The answer? Take his money. Hooks in. You know how I roll. Then, after the first time we met, net worth is 51 mil, she said. Bitch, you better secure the bag, was the response. Uh, but, but how was she going to do that? Need daddy to choke me out, she said, being an absolute whore to try to get in on his 51 million, read another text. Uh, then, after the second time we met, former Padres pitcher Jacob Nick told her, you got to get this bag. I'll give you 50,000, Lindsay replied. Her AA sponsor asked her at one point, do you feel a tiny bit guilty? Not really, she replied. Since then, her time's about coming to a financial settlement. But as I have done since day one, I refuse to pay her even a single cent. Uh, in August of 2021, Lindsay Hill's claims were heard in court, and during those legal proceedings, critical information was deliberately and unlawfully concealed from me and my legal team. Uh, information like this video, which was taken by Lindsay Hill herself the morning after she claimed she was brutally attacked, emotionally traumatized, and desperate to get away from me. Uh, and now we have the metadata, so there can be no dispute. Uh, it was taken mere minutes before she left my house on the morning of May 16th, 2021. Without my knowledge or consent, of course. Uh, in it, you can see her lying in bed or any marks on her face. 
I think it paints a pretty clear picture of what actually happened the evening of May 15th and why the video was originally concealed from us. Uh, after hearing the evidence available to her, Judge Diana Gold Saltman found that Lindsay Hill had misled the court. She found her claims to be materially misleading. Uh, she denied her request for a domestic violence restraining order, and she found that no sexual assault or non-consensual conduct took place. Now, some of you might not know about restraining order hearings. I know I didn't, but uh, I've since learned that uh, it's extremely rare for a request for a restraining order to be denied because the standard of proof that you need to obtain one is extremely low. So you can make of that what you will. The fact is I was never arrested. I was never charged with a crime and I won the only legal proceeding that took place without my side of the story even being heard. Uh, and most importantly, as I've said from day one, I never sexually assaulted Lindsay Hill or anyone else for that matter. Uh, so I sued her, which prompted her to counter sue me. Quite frankly, regardless of the outcome in court, I've paid significantly more in legal fees than Lindsay Hill could ever pay me in her entire life. Uh, and I knew that would be the case going in, but the lawsuit was never about the money for me. It was the only way for me to obtain critical information to clear my name. Uh, the discovery process in that lawsuit recently concluded, at which point uh, Lindsay Hill's legal team again came to us with another proposal to resolve the case. Uh, this time, however, they weren't seeking any money from me. Having received uh, much of the information that had been hidden from us, uh, a small portion, of which I've referenced here, um, I was willing to agree to the terms proposed. Both parties would drop their respective lawsuits and neither of us would pay either side any money. Uh, I also retain my right to speak publicly about the case, something I have not been at liberty of 2021. So as of today, both lawsuits have been settled. Now, over the last two years, I've been forced to defend my integrity uh, and my reputation in a very public setting. This is the last time I have to do so, as I'd prefer to just remain focused on doing my job, uh, winning baseball games and entertaining fans around the world. So today, I'm happy to be moving on with my life. Okay, so yeah, so there you go. And then, of course, uh, in the statement, Bauer uh, referenced the judge to Zoom denied their screening order sought by Hill on the 21st, called an extreme rare instance. And quite funny, regardless of the outcome court, I pay significant legal fees, as he said that Lindsay uh, could ever pay in her life. So, yep. So, Power wanted to do this video, but the lawsuit and the money wasn't it. So, yep. It was the only way he could clear his name. So, during the litigation, Bauer suspended 324 games by MLB and to was roughly reduced to 124 games uh, by an arbitrator. And the Dodgers opted to part ways with Bauer in January, saying that the former Cy Young wouldn't be part of the organization moving forward and that aligned with the Dodgers report in 21 and Bauer viewed as a pariah in the clubhouse that someone and Dodger teammates at the time no longer wanted to play alongside. So Bauer remained unsigned and he decided to pitch overseas in Japan this year. So yeah, how sad, you know, you know, he pretty much, you know, couldn't speak about this and yep. And you know, and this woman ruined you know, a good man's career, you know, he should have been in the major leagues. He should have been helping my Dodgers uh, in the postseason right the past two years. But unfortunately, yep, she had to be selfish and play this game and now, you know, ruin a man's career. You know, even if he didn't pay any money out to her, this woman ruined a man's career. So, yeah, these days, man, it doesn't even matter who you are, you know. It's just so sad that, yeah, some people are out to ruin your reputation, your career. So, no, no wonder why uh, at times now, huh? Yeah, it's dangerous and sad. All right, if you enjoyed any of this content, please give me a HKO special help to King out. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. Other than that, I will see you in my next video.